Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. You see the church? That's where the Howlers were after us. It's the center of the district.
You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. I'm so thirsty. Got a gig as a finisher tomorrow. Someone's got to take care of the fighters running in the streets around the bazaar at dawn.
Yeah. Where you're going? What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five years ago. Hey, bro. What's the problem? Hey! Aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the Grand Master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent. But he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash. But he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention, the electric fence. So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. 
maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. You look familiar. Yeah, I'm the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. A crowd of people against one infected. Odds were in your favor. Huh. I see you already got a marker. More time you spend here, more you'll understand. Our rules are strict, but that's how we survive. Sure. Man, I'm so thirsty. Might have some work for you. We citizens have seen hey, it all. Why that's the pilgr long, pilgrim. Yeah, pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> that to be something.
I stand ready to us. Uh, Come here. How dare they close the passage to the center? We're Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Hey, Hangman. How's the neck? Very funny. Let me tell you something. If I were you, then I'd have wished for them to end me. Would you rather have needless deaths on your conscience? I wish you didn't hang the innocent here. Well, it all worked out, didn't it, Pilgrim? You didn't kill anyone, and you're free. Win-win. Who is Barney? Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, I wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. And hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, now I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with.
years of learning, and all for nothing. I just have to get it right this time. Alberto needs to see I'm good enough. Last night. Stay safe out there. Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Now then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash, others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And Unofficially, apparently some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest, well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. Those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there, those psychos from the GRE. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they will probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves.
years of learning and all for nothing. I just have to get it right this time. Alberto needs to see I'm good enough. When I die, I want to be burned to ash and scattered on the street with the rest of my family. Ginger with a mohawk? Bastard stole my last bottle of water.
seen my kids in months because of Stay away from the chemicals, bro. Shit will burn you to the bone. Sometimes if I stay out too long, I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city. Then this horrible fear overwhelms me. Yeah. Oh, at last. A moment of peace. I wish someone would deal with the assholes that hijacked our war. Okay. When it starts dying out, I'll add a log or two. I remember cleaning out a furniture store last year. I did like some big piece fall for you. Hey, not funny. That wardrobe was heavy, man. Just be glad you're alive. I have a cousin there. My grandfather used to work as a miner in the quarry south of the town. Those tunnels are teeming with infected now. Yeah. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. But then I see the goddamn UV lights. You know, I used to come to this place with my kids before. Five years of learning and all for nothing. I just have to get it right this time. Alberto needs to see I'm good enough. I don't my believe it. Bottle. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. Talking out of turn. Not at all. It's just... That's not really... Mother. I'm not the really... Oh, into monsters I get hell. it. Sorry. I thought... No worries. It counts, really. Yeah. 
survival speed cures there's not enough nitrogen. Yeah, I'd rather not ask how she knows. As you say, that all seems to Unfortunately, nothing good comes easy. Before the fall, people with a bunch of children one foot right after another. Like we're fighting a gun ball machine. But you think making that many kids that quickly was easy? That shit's exhausting. Someone's got to do something about the water situation. You know the city was a fishing village centuries ago? God, I would kill the sushi. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. He was, he didn't show it. My wife was a nurse when this city was still called Villador. She was among the first to go when THB hit us in 24. I miss her every day. Inside, Aiden. Don't stay out at night. That's when the monsters come out. Aiden. 
I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof near the main metro station. Hakon. Ah, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. What about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. 
They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. <laughs> 